What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos and I put them on the internet. So today I wanted to share something with you guys that uh, I, I recently put together and it's been really, really helpful for me. Um, essentially, it's a little script that I wrote <clears throat> to extract audio out of, right now, the supported file type is MP4. Um, I'm only, I'm calling it extract audio, um, but so essentially what this is, again, is this little script that I put together here. And um, what this script is going to do is it's going to extract audio, the audio file only out of an MP4, um, an MP4 file. And it's doing so actually um, using FFmpeg. Uh, you know what? I've got to change this. Okay. So using FFmpeg, this extract audio script will rip out audio. Now what I've been using it for is if you found a video, say on YouTube, non-copyrighted of course, um, say for instance like one of mine, and you wanted to be able to have a, a audio version to listen to in the car, or if you're at the gym on the treadmill, something like that, and you just want something to listen to, and if it's a video you found say on YouTube, uh, again non-copyrighted of course, um, you know, this will allow you to do it. <clears throat> it's also, and I'll show you guys again, it's going to extract this audio in a really high quality format. It's going to uh, save it in an MP3 format, and it's going to do so at a very high uh, quality. So, you know, the rip, the audio rip you get uh, will be very, very good. Um, and I, this has come in handy for me. So, I'm going to be adding more to this script. Um, right now, um, I'm using this in conjunction conjunction with an application called Minitube, which is uh, in most of the repositories. Now, if you have a version of Minitube less than 1.9, um, you're going to need to um, update that because the version of Minitube that's in the um, Ubuntu 12.04 repositories will not work properly with the latest updates uh, that YouTube has implemented. Um, you will not be able to um, download files. So just an FYI there. Um, so it has to be version 1.9 or greater. Um, so <clears throat> essentially here what we're going to do now is we're going to download a video. So I have gone ahead and brought up one of mine, my latest video, using Docky and Elementary OS Luna. All you do is copy the URL link for the video. Come back over here to Minitube, paste it in. Now, normally it's gonna just go ahead and start playing this. So we're gonna pause that video. There's a download option, we're gonna download it. And now Minitube is gonna download this particular video. Now in the meantime, while that's going, one thing that we're gonna have to do is, and I'm gonna make the script available um, for you guys to download. But uh, when you get it, you're going to want to make sure that um, we make it executable. So to do that, and actually, you know what? To do so, what you're going to do is you're going to type in sudo. Well, you actually, you don't even really need sudo. You can just do, yeah, we'll, we'll use it. sudo chmod plus x extract audio and hit enter. Now it's going to ask you for your password, um, which of course I don't want to show. So oh, it's already ended the process. Okay. All right, good. So now we've made that application uh, executable. So one of the other things that we want to do is um, we need, we're gonna move this for ease of use into our user bin directory. Now, by mo moving it into user bin, you're going to be able to um, you know, execute this script from within any uh, path that you are. Um, now, if you're in something like Ubuntu and it's using Nautilus, <clears throat> you can add this to your Nautilus scripts and it'll give you the ability to right click on a file You'll come down to your scripts, op scripts option, and then you'll be able to just select extract audio with a right click, and it'll work that way. I'm using files in elementary OS Luna, and it doesn't have, um, 
you know, I haven't actually played around with this enough to see um, if I can add that to the contextual menu here uh, with the right click. So I'm sure I can, um, but I just haven't played around with it enough yet. So Minitube should have downloaded that video, and it did 100%. So that's good. Minitube defaults the video download to your videos uh, directory. Now, I'll do this within the videos directory, and I'll show you guys how this works. So essentially, what we're going to do here is we're going to put ourselves within by typing uh, CD. Uh, videos that sh that changes our directory into the videos directory. Now we're going to execute the um, extract audio script by just typing it into our terminal. Um, again, I wrote the script to have a little dialog box to say extraction complete. You just click OK, and here is our MP3 file. Okay, so if you want to add some metadata to it, in uh, metadata info. You can also download a program called uh, EasyTag. It should be in the repositories. Um, easiest way to do this is move this into your music directory. And so now that that's in our music directory, we'll come over here to EasyTag, select the music directory. Here's our um, particular file. We want to give it a name. You can just put whatever name you'd like. Here's the title. Hey, it's Lou is the artist. And uh, just hit Control S to save. It's going to ask if you want to write the tag of the file output.mp3. Just hit yes. Do you want to rename it? Yes. And oh, let's close this out. So here it is using and this will actually you know what um, easy tag will actually and I should have showed you guys this before um, you can actually add some album art here as well so if you wanted to add album art you can uh, just add it uh, on this particular uh, menu here and that'll add a nice little thumbnail um, for you so that's a nice little feature so that's ready to go now you can transport this to you know for me it's my Samsung Galaxy Nexus and um, I can listen to this on my phone in the car. And, uh, you know, again, it's ripped in really, really high quality. So that's the extract audio uh, script that I put together. I'd like What I'd like to do in the future is, um, you know, enable you to be able to, right from within the script, download um, using that YouTube video URL, that uh, particular video that you'd like, and have the whole process automated from beginning to end. This is something I just threw together quickly. Um, and it's just to, you know, again, listen to, you know, maybe play back some of my videos and uh, critique myself, that sort of thing. Again, it's for non-copyrighted material, but, um, you know, and you don't have to use this strictly for YouTube videos. You could use this for anything if you've got some MP4 videos. Um, and, of course, if you wanted to also play with the script some, you could... Um, you know, you could actually uh, change this to work with any other file type that's supported. Now, I mentioned that moving this to user bin, and you know, I just realized I didn't show you guys how to do that. To move that script to user bin, you would type sudo um, mv, um, the name of the script, sl forward slash usr, forward slash bin, forward slash, and just hit enter. It's going to ask you for your password. And let's make sure that screen key still isn't working. All right, so we'll type our password in. All right, so we just moved extract audio into our user bin directory. And I'll show you one more time. We're going to CD into our uh, change directories into our video directory and simply just execute the script. So there you go. Alright guys, that's it. Hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, if so, um, if you want to give the video a like, that helps me out. It also tells me that you know you find these videos informative uh, and that you like the content. If, if I get enough feedback, I'll continue making these videos. I know I was kind of on a hiatus for a while, but I've recently been kind of inspired again to get back into making these videos. There's a lot of things I like to do coming up into the future. So, you know, again, if you like these videos, please uh, give them a like. 
share them. Um, my social media links will be in the video description, and I will also have a link to that script that I uh, use in this video uh, in the video description as well. Again, hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, we'll.